SprintCarUnlimited.com. Coming from Eldora Speedway, Kings Royal. We're here with third place finisher Justin Peck. Uh, Justin, third at the Kings Royal. I think it's your best performance here. You got to be really pleased with the weekend. You were fast all week. And then to cap it off with a podium run at a crown jewel event, it doesn't get much better other than maybe winning it. Yeah, I, you know, I, the last probably, I don't know, 10, 12 laps, I could kind of, I don't know whenever I got to fourth, but whenever I got to fourth, I could see Rico and then I, I started catching Rico and then I could see the, I could see Donnie and Gravel and I just kept, I just kept driving it harder and harder and just kept thinking, God dang it, like, let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. And then I ended up seeing the white as soon as I got to Rico and um, ended up getting around him on the last corner. But, uh, you know, it, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's cool to be on the podium at Eldora in general, but especially at a crown jewel event like, like Kings Royal, it, it you know, it's, uh, Kind of like what David was talking about earlier. I mean, it's kind of a dream come true, really. Like I was, I, I kind of have to agree with him. Like I mean, I was 10 years old and all I knew was USAC. I mean, I was 12 years old, and all I knew was USAC, and then kind of started looking at wing sprint cars. And eventually, by the time I was 18 or whatever, when I actually got in a wing sprint car, I, I, that's kind of when I decided, okay, this is the route I wanted to go. And um, got kind of got out of the midget stuff and the non-wing stuff, and, and went this route. And um, it's been a lot of fun, and it's it's been up and down, man. It's been a lot of struggles, but. Uh, it's pretty rewarding when you can be on the podium at Eldora. You know, you've had some struggles over the last couple of years, and, and I'm sure you doubt yourself or you start doubting yourself. When you come and have a weekend like this and have a run like you did tonight, does that kind of reinforce, hey, I'm, I'm good at this, I can get it done? Yeah, I mean, it definitely does. It's just, I, you know, I, I really don't know what to say. I don't know why. I, I don't think any of us know why on a team, but... You know, sometimes you just go through this stuff in, in this deal. I mean, it's race is the most humbling thing I've ever done, and I think a lot of people can test that. And I mean, we came out of the gate, I felt like swinging, and we're really fast, and we're podium in Volusia, and running up front at East Bay and Georgia, and then we had a little break, and I went back racing and just flat sucked for a while, and slowly kind of been getting better and better and better, and making better decisions on the racetrack on my end, and getting the car faster, and it's just kind of built up into this weekend, and had I don't know two fourths and twelfth uh, or something, and now a podium. So. You know, we were a little off last night and just kind of stuck with it. And truthfully, today I didn't ever think we were that great. Like I could, I had qualifying speed. You know, was able to lay down a lap going out late um, and get ourselves in the inversion. And really, I thought we're not was not very good at all in the heat race. So, you know, it kind of went back to the drawing board. And Sean and I and you know Kurt Williamson was hanging around us this weekend. We all talked about it. Just really kind of went in depth and broke everything down on what we were doing and what I was feeling and what how I was driving and uh, made some adjustments and. Got better for the feature, but you know, truthfully, lacked a lot of side bite um, until that open red, and uh, I was kind of hoping that red. I didn't really want that red to come out. My car just started to come in, but when it did, it was gave us an opportunity to talk and adjust on the race car, and you know, got the thing really freaking hooked up. And I mean, hell, we restarted tenth there with, uh, you know, we went back green after that red, and had you just start clicking them off one after another, and was really hoping for a caution when I when I could see Rico in my sights and see gravel, I was really hoping for a caution, thinking, man, we might win this thing if we can you know, get up there and scrap with them. But all in all, it was a good weekend. What's this mean moving forward for you? How much confidence does this give you and the team moving forward into a lot of a lot of big races this month and also high limit? Yeah, I think I think it's good. I mean, it's, it's always good to, to get a confidence booster. But, um, you know, going into Knoxville, I mean, we went there for the outlaw shows and really didn't have a very strong showing at all. Um, I don't even really remember what happened the first night, but we ran somewhere in the mid-pack. And then the next night, we did we completely missed the show the second night. So. Got to kind of keep working on it, kind of look at the notebook and, and go go back to talking in depth like we were today and just try to break everything down on, you know, what our issues are, why we're why this is happening, where our race car's at, and just try to get better. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm looking forward to getting to Williams Grove this weekend. I haven't been to the Grove all year long, and I, I you know, I have a love-hate relationship with that place. I'm truthfully not a big fan of the Grove, but we always tend to run well there, and I love the Pennsylvania fans. So I'm looking forward to getting back there. and. Hoping that'll be my first outlaw win. It just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we fight for wins all the time, but we just can't seem to do it. So we need a, we need a win, man. Congratulations on a great run. Yeah, thank you.